the Melbourne Derby between Victory and City. It's always an electric atmosphere. There's always that bit of drama, and we certainly got a fair mixture of both tonight at Amy Park. Um, first off, I just wanted to say uh, the atmosphere and the fans were phenomenal. Full heart and soul tonight, and even last game, I just want to say well done to the Victory fans. Day in, day out, they come to Amy Park, they go on the road to support the boys in blue, and uh, they rock up in numbers and they're loud, and that's the energy we love to see um, each week, each game. For Melbourne City, also credit to their fans who showed up. So in the first half, those first 10 minutes were fantastic by Melbourne Victory. I love their ball movement. I love their teamwork. It was fast-paced. They got the ball forward. They created chances, and they had control. That's the main thing. They controlled that first 10 minutes. But then after that, in the 13th or 14th minute, Nanny, he stepped on uh, Leckie's ankle inside the box. It was a clear penalty. And Jamie McLaren from the spot kick uh, gave his side the lead. So City up 1-0. And being in the crowd, you heard fans saying, oh, no, this VAR, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, that wasn't a penalty. That was a clear penalty. And... Um, you know, Melbourne City got a lucky break. Because before that, Melbourne Victory had most of the ball. Melbourne Victory had that control. But after that spot kick, once City got the lead, they got a glimpse of hope. And it, it sparked Melbourne City. It gave them a spark. Barusha in the 18th minute. I'm not sure if it was a cross or a shot on goal, but it hit the post. And unfortunately, uh, came off Kiki Lopez. Uh, for an own goal. So within three or four minutes, Melbourne City have a brace. They're up 2-0. And it only got worse for Melbourne victory. 35th minute, Josh Berlante, the captain. Second yellow card, he was sent off with a red. Uh, victory down to 10 men. Half time 2-0, and that was full time. And I know we're unlucky at times in that first half, and I know it's difficult with 10 men. And I'm glad that we had some opportunities in that second half, considering we had 10 men. I thought Chris Economides had some nice moments on the wing. Uh, you know, he had some, uh, you know, fast moves. I thought at times Victory, you know, still looked for Nanny too much. Uh, Nanny played the full game and he'd be sore at the end of this one because he certainly got tackled a lot. Um, other players who linked up, Marshan, Brimmer at times, uh, going through the centre. That's what I want to see more of. Melbourne Victory taking the game on another way rather than always looking for Nanny. D'Agostino got a few touches on the ball as well. And I know we're unlucky, as I mentioned earlier, in that first half, but I just wanted to see Melbourne Victory be a bit more hungry for the ball, have a bit more energy, because I saw it in the first 10 minutes, but after they lose control, similar to last game, they can't regain control, they can't get themselves back into the game. Take your shots. Take more shots. Late in the game, Kiki Lopez took a wild shot from long range. And I know it was wild, and I know it was way off, but he had the confidence to take a shot. Just have a crack. And that's what we need to see more of. You know, City get the bragging rights. Well done to them on another win for this season. They're a tough side to beat. Melbourne victory, hopefully we can respond. Next game is on Saturday at 3pm. We're on the road to take on the Brisbane Raw. Let's get back on that winner's list. Go victory. All right, guys, if you like that recap and you want to see more of my content, remember to hit that thumbs up, like, comment, and hit that red button down there that says subscribe. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. For more content, follow me on my Facebook page and also my Instagram page.